This is a short introduction to Textivate and how to use it for remote learning. Textivate is a paid for website which costs about £25 a year per teacher or if you have 10 teachers it costs £120 and you can have unlimited students. It's mainly useful for languages but also for some other subjects like English. So there are two parts to it. You can have a vocab list like you can see here um, with matching items and you can have a text where you can add your own gaps if you want and you can do different tasks with them. So I'll show you some examples what you can do. Um, we we'll go to the play um, screen and you can see there are the match activities. So let's say I want to introduce this vocab. I could do the flashcards. So you show the students ask them if they already know the answer otherwise you show them so they didn't know this one and then it will come back at the end so you can show them a few you can next time you do it maybe you want to give them a few clues so you could for example give them the first letters to remind them or give them a bit more help and give them the whole word um, apart from the vowels or um, you can give them anagrams to help them remember what it is. Um, there are quite nice games. So for example, here you can match up the words. Once the students know the vocab, you can move on to the text activities. For example, you can do a gap fill activity and you can either show them the words or hide them away depending how hard you want it to be. Um, you could also show them the translation. So if they click that little document button at the top, um, it will show them the English translation to help them with filling in the words, especially if you don't show them the words. In this case, they would need to know that it's hams, ham, uh, hamster and so on. And it will mark it straight away as well, which is really useful. You could also get them to write the whole text can take away the, the letters and so it's really great for translation tasks um, for any year group up to sixth form really because it marks it straight away. Also whenever they get stuck they can use the hint at the bottom which gives them the next letter but it makes their percentage go down so you can see if they're using it too much as well. So now how to use this for remote learning. For that you need to set a sequence so if you go back to the editing mode you go to sequence and you can now add any activities you want them to do and they have to do them in this order. So in this case, I want to start with a matching activity to get to know the vocab, then practice it a bit with filling in gaps and then move on to the text. So I could add more text activities here. Um, so they have to sort the text in the right order. I can also give them targets. So they have to get at least 50% before they can move on to the next task. Um, that prevents them from just cheating by using the hint button all the time. Um, so I then save this and um, I can then share it. So I click the share button there, Links, link to sequence. That's important. Don't give them the link to the index page. Otherwise they see all the answers. Um, and you just copy this and give it to your class. You can then, after the class has done it, you can go into your mark book and see how they've done. So let's look at this one. So this is uh, my son. So he's done his times table and I can see exactly how long each task took him and what his score was there. So it gives you a lot of information. Another activity you can do if you want to give the students a bit more freedom is a challenge. So uh, that means they get the set of vocab, but they can choose which games they want to do themselves. So they can choose um, any of the activities, multiple choice, gap fill and so on. But the harder the task is, the more points they will get to, for it. So for a matchup task, they would only get a couple of points while for a writing task, they get much more points. Um, and you can then see it in your challenge menu. Um, so I can see here which student has got which point score. Um, and I can also get, get more details um, how long it took them. If you want to use um, the sequence, you need to have your students signed up. So you need to make student accounts 
uh, but it's quite easy. You can just copy and paste in a student list from Excel and it will automatically generate usernames or you can set up the usernames yourself if you want to. Um, if you're interested in learning how to make these different activities, then I strongly recommend the user guides. They're very clear, have good examples. Um, so have a read of them.